Welcome to another video from uh, Play Simple Chords. In this video, I'm going to cover uh, altered chords. I'm going to use the uh, key of C major as an example, and I'm going to present the chords uh, in a manner that the person who is playing by ear would want to know them. So it will be absent a lot of the theory that goes behind the chords, but we'll show you how to, uh, in a simple manner, form these chords and uh, then once you know how to form them then you can use them. Uh, keep in mind dominant chords um, can be altered more so than any other chord in the scale. So these chords I'm going to show you are altered dominant chords and uh, we'll be using the tritone for the key of C. So let's first look at the key of the uh, the notes in the key of C. C is the one, D is two, E is three, F four, G five, A six, B seven, and then back to C. So the five in C is G, but we're not going to show the alternate dominant on the key, the uh, note G. We're going to do it on the note C, which is actually the fifth note in the key of F. So F is the one, B is uh, G is a two, A is a three, B flat is the four, C is the five, D is the six, E is the seven, and then we're back at F. So we're looking at C as the fifth note in the key of F not as the one in the key of C. Okay, now that we have that cleared up, to form the altered chord, what we're going to use is what's called the tritone, which is the three and the dominant seven, or the flat seven, for the uh, chord C. So if we played a regular C major seven chord, it would be C, E, G, B, if we made that a dominant seven chord, it would be C, E, G, B flat. Now we have a dominant seven chord. That's the chord we're going to alter. And the reason we can do that and it will sound right is because these two notes, the third and the seventh, determine uh, what type of chord you have. So if the third is flat, now you have a minor seven. If the uh, seven is uh, not flatted, now you have what's called a minor major seven. But when you leave the three in its root position and then you use a flatted seven to make it a dominant, this allows you to do these altered chords, which I'm about to show you now. And what makes them easy and simple is that you're actually using a chord tone from the scale of the chord that you're altering. So in the key of C, the first chord tone we're going to use is the second, and we're going to play a, a D major triad over the C tritone. Now if you want, and I probably will for this example, I'll put the root in. So now we have a C9, 13 sharp 11. So we have an altered C dominant chord based on the second note of the scale for the C chord. Now the next chord that we can make uh, an altered uh, chord from is the uh, flat at three, which is E flat. So E is the three. E flat is the flat at three, and we're still going to use the same tritone, one, three, flat seven, and we're going to play an E flat major chord on top. That gives us a C7 sharp nine. There's your sharp nine, there's your five, and you're doubling the, the uh, dominant seven in this chord. Now, of course, you can invert this chord uh, as many times as you want going up the scale. And 
you can invert the tritone if you want. And you get a little bit different sound each time you do uh, an inversion on either one, the tritone or the um, triad in the right hand. So the next chord tone we're going to use is the, we're going to stay with the flat three, only this time we're going to make it a minor three. So we're still going to use the one, three, seven, and instead of a major, which gives us the C7 uh, sharp nine, we're going to make it, we're going to make it a minor, E flat minor triad, which gives us a sharp nine, a flat five, and we double the seven again. So in this case, we have a C, a C7 sharp nine, a flat five, based on the E flat minor triad of the chord C. Okay, the next one we're going to go to is a uh, fifth. We're going to do the flat five, same tritone. So the flat five was going to be G flat. So we're going to play a G flat triad over the C tritone. So G flat triad. And in this one, I'm going to start with an inversion so that the chords are a little closer together. And this gives us the C dominant seven flat nine, flat five. And then, of course, you can invert that. But again, keeping the same tritone for the bass note C, we end up with a uh, C7, flat nine, flat five, using a flat five triad. The next one we'll, we'll do is a uh, six chord. And the six of C is A. So we're going to play uh, A major chord, an A major chord over the same bass note and triad, C bass note and C tri tritone, excuse me. And we're gonna play an A triad. And we're gonna use an inversion so that the hands are a little closer together and then if you want to invert, you can invert. But when we start here, this is a C13 flat nine. Now where does that come from? Here's your three, that's your six, which is also your 13. If you understand the number system, you know that two is nine, uh, six is 13, and four is 11, because they just repeat as the uh, notes go up the scale. So that's the A major triad over the same tritone and we get this C 13 with a flat nine. Now the, the last one I'm going to show you in this uh, example is a, a flat at six. So we're going to go with an A flat triad over uh, the same tritone. Now that's going to give you a chord you're familiar with, which is the uh, dominant seven, sharp nine, sharp five. Um, my last uh, simple chords video, uh, I should say the most recent simple chords video, demonstrated this in uh, two songs using Never Would Have Made It and uh, We Need You, Lord. Uh, one by Marvin Sapp and the other by Jonathan Butler. But... Basically, you can form this chord by playing the bass note and the relevant tritone, which in this case is a three and a flat of seven, and then just use the flat at six on top. And what does that get you? There's your sharp nine. And there's your sharp five. And then you're doubling the root in this particular chord.
So there you have six ways you can alter a dominant seven chord. Um, there are others, but these are the ones you would hear most frequently. Um, and um, maybe in a future uh, video, I can show a few more examples of uh, types of triads that you can, or tri, yeah, triads you can use against a tritone to give you the altered dominant sound. Um, other chords are formed by using that same uh, tritone and maybe adding a minor uh, uh, chord uh, to it, similar to what we did with the E flat minor. Um, and each one will give you a different alter alteration of the uh, the note in the scale for the dominant chord that you're playing. So thank you for watching the video. Thank you for watching my tutorials. Simple chords are the building blocks for making advanced chords. And I hope you find that these tutorials are helpful to you on your musical journey. Please like, subscribe, and share these tutorials with others who have a desire to learn how to play music on the piano. I look forward to sharing other tutorials with you in future videos.